So first of all, let's import some videos. And here we have a putt, a trip, a swing video, and a actually shot video. But you'll notice that the videos, um, only two videos showed up, and that's because we have a chip and a putt. These don't have a very loud sound, meaning that the app did not pick up the impact frame correctly. So we'll just add them manually, and you can tell that they haven't been picked up because of the X to the left of the name when you sell in the selector. And I just need to scroll to the moment with the slider where I'm actually making impact with the ball. So the first, first frame where the ball starts moving. Now I can accept that and the app for the moment will still try to track the ball, but the only trackable shots are actually the shot tracer, the full swings. It's not able to track anything else. So now we can also in the shot tracer video, now moving on to the shot tracer video, we can um, set distance and apex. Uh, and that you can obviously do manually here in the editor. Just make sure you press the um, end, uh, the return key to, the, the, the ex to accept <coughs> the changes. Now you're done with that and you can obviously check what your tra trajectory and tracking quality looked like. Um, you can change this, the, the landing spot from here as well. Uh, to change a little bit of the, the look and feel of the, of the line. And yeah, you can definitely change the thickness if you want to, but make sure that the, um, the end size of the tracer is not set too high because then the line will just look funny. Usually I set it to around 10, 10, 15. Um, so it's a nice little thin line towards the landing zone. Now, this is important. Peak lock uh, allows you to move the peak around. If the tracking is bad, this is something you should unlock. But if the tracking is good, make sure peak is locked so that the line does not shift from its original location. <coughs> and when you move it, the, the whole line doesn't start shifting. You can straighten the line if it has a little funny wobbly uh, beginning of the line. You can straighten that. You can add outline blur. If you wanted to, this will, however, um, increase the time for uh, export. Now let's change the outline color. That's the left and right outline uh, of the tracer line. And we can obviously also change the thickness. Then we have the ability to change the shape of the line to a 3D or 2D line. Uh, and also the, 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 the tip of the line it can be a sharp uh, tip or a rounded off. Now off to the swing tracer and with the swing tracer um, it's kind of a reverse uh, reverse kind of logic here so you want to set the first frame where you start moving the club head back. Now with this video we're using a 120 fps video and what's nice is that we can skip multiple frames by pressing the space bar. So when you sp press the space bar you can press it as many times as you want and you will skip frames. The app will then automatically just um, fill the gaps using the, an algorithm, um, but make sure you don't skip too many frames, especially there where it starts curving a lot because it's probably not gonna look the best. Also make sure you use a reference point on the face of the club that you always mark the same position. Here we are trying to mark the center, lower center part of the club face and this will guarantee the best result in terms of look and feel of the swing tracer line. So we, as you can see, we're jumping two frames here, but now on the downswing, we want to make sure we're actually tagging each frame because um, what happens here is that we have far less frames to tag because the swing is much faster on the way down and the club starts changing direction quite drastically. So we want to make sure that um, we're tagging every frame. And what's neat here is that even though it's a um, 100 FPS video, you're actually just tagging in 60 FPS, but still it'll create a beautiful line, very smooth, very pretty. And obviously you can change to whatever colors you want. Um, we recommend using opposite colors. So yellow and red is good. Um, this, as you can see, doesn't work because it gives you a funny little color uh, on, at the peak. So red and white also works quite nice. Yeah, you can play around obviously with the colors and then also with the thickness of the line, you can set it down all the way down to 25 pixels 
uh, unfortunately for the moment it doesn't go lower than 25 uh, if you guys want we can always change that now moving on to the ball tracer ball and putt tracer and here um, what we're doing we're tracking short shots because shot tracer does not track short shots you, you'll have to do those manually and the idea again you want to make sure that you set um, the first moment where you hit the ball as the, your impact frame and then you can start marking each consecutive um, uh, frame but what's really neat about it here again press the space bar and you can skip as many frames as you want so you don't necessarily have to tag every single frame but we do recommend keeping the distances between frames not so big especially when the ball gets to the top and there is quite a significant change of um, direction with the golf ball here we just recommend maybe using two or three um, space bar clicks in order to create a nice smooth rounded line and then yeah just keep on clicking your space bar every five um, frames or so you can tag the ball obviously depending how many frames you're using here we're using it um, i think it's 30 fps video and yeah you can you can actually continue tagging the ball for as long as you want that's that's me tagging now the bounds of the ball um, and then you can even uh, if you wanted to do the rollout so uh, here's the nice little tracer line for the ball tracer obviously again changing the colors is a breeze changing settings of the line is a breeze and you can uh, change the width of the line if you wanted to now moving on to the putt tracer and putt tracer works exactly like the ball tracer uh, that's why they're in the same kind of settings um, area so uh, you just tag the first uh, frame once the ball hits um, gets hit and then you just you can move a bunch of frames forward by clicking the space bar um, keep on clicking the space bar move frames forward uh, until the ball gets to a rest until it stops moving or until yes it drops in the hole as we have it in this scenario important make sure you use a tripod otherwise it's gonna look funky uh, so tripod is essential for all the shot tracer videos and yeah so we're done now let's take a look at uh, some settings we uh, change the color again we change the fade in fade out and the width of the line uh, looks great now we have created um, a great set of tracers right here where we have a, the shot tracer the swing tracer um, we have the ball tracer and we have the putt tracer fantastic we did that just in a couple of minutes just under two minutes or so and it's super super fast obviously now we can export the videos and we're done